What's up, Internet? Ang Ninja Band ba ang pinakawalang kwentang career sa buong Pilipinas? Dito sa Hardware Sugar, nagbebenta kami ng PC parts and madalas namin ginagamit si Ninja Van. Nagbebenta kami sa Lazada, paminsan si Ninja Van yung ma-assign. Nagbebenta kami sa Shopee, paminsan ulit si Ninja Van yung ma-assign. Pag may direct orders kami, let's say the customer is outside of Manila and we need to ship them an item, we usually just choose Ninja Van also. So even for the direct orders of the shop, we choose Ninja Van. The thing is though, lots and lots of people really, really, really hate Ninja Van. Paminsan, may mga customers, pag marinig nila na, ay, si Ninja Van yung career, Sir, pwede iba na lang kasi mawawala yung item, hindi makakarating. Dumating yung item, baka sira-sira na. There's this negative perception of Ninja Van. You can see it on the internet, may mga pictures daw of yung mga warehouse ng Ninja Van na nakatambak lang ng mga items, walang na-out na item. That, that is a common perception, yun, we've seen it online, we've had customers complain to us about it. But really, is Ninja Van that bad? Is Ninja Van a bad ninja? So, everything here is based on our experience. We'll start with the good, because there are some good points about Ninja Van. Una, mura talaga sila kumpara sa iba. For example, this is uh, our one of our small items on Shopee where both shippers, Exposed and Ninja Van are enabled. Exposed costs 80 pesos. That's the base shipment fee. How much is Ninja Van? Kalahati lang, 40 pesos. And this is also what we found when we also do our direct shipping. We ask for a quote from other shippers. Pero when it comes to the Ninja Van quote, mas mura talaga sila. So this seems to be consistent whether it's through the big online channels like Lazada or Shopee, or even if you book directly with them, their rates are generally cheaper. I mean, that's something that's undeniable. Number two, they also have a wider network. For instance, we had a customer on Shopee, he lives in Benguet, and gusto niya yung isang item, maliit lang naman. Yung problema, naka-enable yung exposed na courier, but he couldn't choose that option because of his location, naka-disable yung exposed sa kanya. Meaning, hindi nag-deliver yung exposed sa kanya. So he asked us, may iba pang options? Sabi ko, yes, I can enable Ninja Van. He booked, he used Ninja Van. No problem. The item got to him in less than a week. Um, medyo mabilis na yun, considering this was the time during the lockdowns. He reported no problem with the item, item work. Uh, so again, another advantage of Ninja Van is that they have a wider network. They are able to deliver to more places in the Philippines. Number three, and this is for direct orders, they're really a lot easier to use. Kasi yung Ninja Van, pwede mo i-book online. Once you're a regular customer with them, once you're registered with them, pwede ka mag-book online, log on ka lang. So there's a web interface where you can just schedule a pickup. So this is really nice. It's really convenient na sila yung pupunta sa'yo, hindi ikaw yung pupunta sa career. Saves you a lot of time also. Usually, mahaba yung mga pila sa mga career eh. So, malaking bagay na sobrang simple lang yung checkout or kumbaga yung ordering of a pickup and then pagkuha nila, okay na yan, dire-diretso na yan. You might be wondering, bottom line though, yung mga items na pinadala ko through Ninja Van, did they arrive? Yes, they arrived without any problems. Pero baka inisip mo na, o oh, madali nga mag-order, pero pag pick up, kukuha ba or natatanggap ba nung receiver? And yes, wala pa namang palpak. All of the items that I've asked Ninja Van to ship or that I've shipped through Ninja Van, all of the items have arrived where they needed to arrive. Now the bad. Because like any other career, there are areas kung saan sana pwede mag-improve si Ninja Van. Number one, medyo magulo talaga sila even compared to other shippers. For example, through Shopee, si Expost, sobrang on-time yan. Kung mag-schedule ka ng pick-up on Wednesday, dadating yan on Wednesday, hindi lang anytime. Usually yung Expost na yan, maaga yan, 9.30, 10 a.m., maasahan mo yan. Once you schedule a pick-up, they will arrive. This hasn't been my experience with Ninja Van. Sometimes mag-schedule ka ng pick-up, walang dadating. And this is particular to my Shopee experience. When you use Ninja Van with Shopee, they send two couriers. One, a motorcycle to send over the way bills. Th these are the way bills. So, may isang rider, pupunta sa shop, ita drop off yung mga to. 
And then these are the way bills that you stick. And then a second courier comes later on in the day to actually pick up the items. The problem is that medyo madalas nangyayari na dumadating yung second courier ready to go na yung mga items pero wala pa si first courier or wala pa si rider na magdadala ng waybills so kung walang waybills hindi ma-pick up yung items so there I, I don't know why they use this procedure it's really unnecessarily complicated it introduces more points of possible failure into the whole transaction in some aspects, mas magulo yung ninja van compared to other shippers. Another example from our own experience is one time the, they didn't pick it up. There was an item scheduled to go out. They didn't pick it up. This was a direct order with the shop. So yung ginawa ko, naganap ako online. Tapos may drop off points pala yung ninja van. I don't know kung tinaloy nila to because this was like two years ago, a year and a half ago. The one I'm talking about, the one I brought my item to, was in SM Makati. So I had the staff bring the item, it was a computer case, all packed, ready to go, to the drop-off point, and they wouldn't accept it. Yung unang dahilan, kasi hindi da, masyado malaki, they only accept small items. And then, tinanong ko, eh, wala naman nakalagay dito, drop off your item, wala naman nakalagay na max, ano, diba? max size, max weight. And then, naging, yung, Biglang nagbago yung dahilan. The reason suddenly became kung ba't di nila matanggap, ba't di nila makuha yung item, is wala silang tape measure and weighing scale. So, di ba parang logistics company kayo, yung drop-off point na ikaw, kayo mismo nag-organize, walang pangtimbang, walang pangsukat, medyo, <laughs> I think that really shows na paminsan, medyo disorganized rin talaga si Ninja Van. They, 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 can, they, they should work on that. Um, just basic things like that. If you put up a drop-off point, I mean, make it clear what is being allowed at the point. And number two, make it possible for the employees there to actually accept the items that you said are acceptable through the drop-off point. So yes, organization-wise, Ninja Van can improve. On the quality of the deliveries, um, yes, paminsan, we get reports that, you know, there's cosmetic damage to the item, the box is kind of beat up when it gets to the customer. Pero, in fairness, hindi lang naman si, di, hindi lang naman kay Ninja Van nangyayari yun eh. I mean, that happens also with other couriers. So, it's unfortunate, but it's not unique to using Ninja Van. From our personal experience though, this happened with a direct order. We had one item na pagdating kay customer, bukas na. And, you know, especially for PC parts, people don't like that. They want it sealed, they want it packaged as much as possible in original, you know, the way you got it from the supplier, ganun rin dapat yung bigay mo sa customer. Kasi takot yung mga tao na either peke yung item sa loob kasi nabuksan na, or sira na, pinalitan lang, hindi na brand new. So, you know, a lot of issues, a lot of insecurities when it comes to PC parts. So, people really want them sealed. When we shipped it, the item was sealed. But, nung dumating kay customer, apparently nabuksan na ni Ninja Van. And, well, long story short, the customer rejected it. He sent it back. Sobrang hassle nun for us. Sayang yung, you know, sayang yung item. Um, sana hindi na lang binuksan ni Ninja Van. They did not ask for our permission. Although, again, hindi ito unique. Hindi lang si Ninja Van gumagawa nito. I've also experienced with LBC. Pero sa LBC kasi, they open it in front of you. Ikaw pupunta sa LBC and, and then they ask ano yan, then you say computer part. Pag rinig nila computer part, nakikita mo yung mata nila, biglang lalaki na, oh, kailangan ko tingnan to, baka hindi ko alam ano na sa loob niyan. You know, it, it sets off alarm bells for some reason. So, I've had the same experience in LBC, but at least with LBC, I know that I had to open the item so I can warn the customer. Instead of the customer thinking everything is sealed and then pagdating sa kanya, binuksan pala ni courier. So, that was definitely not a good experience, not a good shop experience with Ninja Van. Alright, we've done the good, we've done the bad, and now we get to the last part, the ugly. Does Ninja Van have faults? Yes. Does it have good points? Yes also. So at the end of the day, do I think na justified ba tong lahat ng bashing kay Ninja Van? To be honest, I think not. I think they are a courier, they do their job relatively well, sometimes may pagkakamali talaga, may pagkukulang, but 
Also, other carriers in our experience. I think the problem really with Ninja Van is that it has a really bad image. It has an ugly image. Hindi maganda PR nila. And I don't know how this started, pero I think psychologically kasi, kapag may narinig ka ng kwento na, ay alam mo yung girlfriend nung pinsan ko na narinig niya sa bayaw niya na naka ano sa isang warehouse or something. Alam mo yung mga kwento na ganun na ang layo-layo na. But there's this pervasive story na hindi okay si Ninja Van. And then kung ikaw, customer ka, may hinihintay kang item, tapos, one, you heard that story, and then number two, you heard that Ninja Van is your courier, biglang kakabahan ka eh. Because you don't want that same experience to happen to you. So psychologically, parang umiikot na sa utak mo na, alam mo, narinig ko na na hindi okay si Ninja Van eh. And then may item ako na hinihintay galing sa kanila. And even though they have not done anything yet, wala na silang benefit of the doubt because of all this uncertainty or all of these stories that you hear about them. So for most customers or some customers, instead of giving Ninja Van the benefit of the doubt, they automatically get defensive and they would rather not go through the experience. So bottom line, what I think Ninja Van suffers from most is bad PR. Yung kumalat na yung kwento, yan na yung nasa isip ng mga tao. And even though wala silang direct experience with Ninja Van, yan yung prevailing image of them na hindi okay na career. Bottom line for us, will Hardware Sugar still use Ninja Van? Yes, I found them to be at least as reliable as the other couriers. I like their easy to book interface. Yes, I'm sure I will have some headaches with them later on down the line na hindi na pick up or whatever, binuksan yung item. So that is some things I need to coordinate with them. But at the end of the day, I think, you know, overall they're doing a good job. And some of it also is na sila nga yung pinakamura eh. So, yung customers kasi yung point of view, okay lang pipiliin nila yung pinakamura pero gusto nila yung pinaka the best na service. Eh yung dalawang bagay na yun, pinakamura tsaka pinaka the best, hindi yung tugma. You can't get the best service for the cheapest price. I mean, you know, there's really a trade-off somewhere. But, you know, as customers, because we're very spoiled, we think na eh, kasi binayaran ko nyan, binayaran ko nyan. So therefore, dapat 24/7 pagtawag ko, biglang sa sabut kagat si career or something. I mean, at a certain point, it's a mismatch of expectations. It's already a bad image. At a certain point, there's also a mismatch of expectations. And really, if you want better service, you might have to pay for it. Pero yun, aangan naman si customer, de ba? Kasi yun nga, sanay na tayo, free shipping, murang shipping, bakit ang mahal ng shipping? But, you know, shipping is a service. You have to pay the couriers, you have to pay for their gas, you have to pay for their, the maintenance of the vehicles. Hindi yun libre. The, the item does not magically beam out from the shop and then beam into your home. So at the end of the day, I'll still use Ninja Van. But if you do have negative or good experiences with them, please let us know in the comments because I'd really like to hear your feedback. Also, for us to determine what shipper should we use, maybe we should have shippers for different areas, maybe we should have shippers for different sizes, so Expos can do the small items, Ninja Van the larger ones, or you know, there's so many other careers also out there. Let us know what you think, what your own experience has been with Ninja Van. Pero bawal yung mga kwento na narinig mo lang from the, yun nga, yung sa kaibigan ng lolo mo na dumaan one time sa bahay, pero wala na hindi mo na makontakt ngayon to verify the story. I mean, stories from your own personal experience. So, Ninja Van is not a bad ninja, but maybe he still needs some training. So, I hope that these basic tips help you. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. For your PC needs, consider buying from us, Hardware Sugar, at Lazada, or on our website. You can find links in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you next video.